Okay, here we go. We are making my favorite pancakes. Got my music going. This is an artist. I just discovered a song on Pandora, uh, No Regrets. It was just the sweetest song. And so I checked him out, Forest Sun, and I love every single song he does. He's kind of a mix between Jack Johnson, John Mayer, little New Orleans thrown in there. Um, just good, fun, awesome music. Anyway, so that's who's in the background. And I'm wearing pigtails because I always have to put my hair up because once you get a couple hairs in your food when you're eating, it's not fun. My son especially does not like it. And once you hit menopause, it comes out even faster, which is awesome. Probably TMI, but whatever. So, my favorite pancakes in the world to make are from Simple Mills. I've, ever since we had to go gluten-free, I've tried so many different brands and I keep coming back to this one. A, because it's a local girl. I interviewed her once on my Healthy With Heart podcast. Chicago girl that had to go gluten-free years ago and started this company. Very few ingredients. Can you see? Very few ingredients. And I like the consistency of it compared to all the other ones that I've tried. It's got decent protein. But what I do, you see that it's like blueberry pancakes. My son likes chocolate. So what I do is instead of regular milk, I add chocolate milk. I add chocolate chips, which is not in the recipe. And I usually have some kind of chocolate powder on hand. This is a friend of mine, um, Melissa Bowman. She's a trainer and she came up with her own. Nutrition by Bowman, B-O-W-M-A-N, I think is your website if you want to order this. All kinds of nutrients and stuff in it, but I'm sure you can find some. Just make sure you're getting a good quality protein powder because pancakes are carbs, so I like to add as much protein as I can. I like this one too, Ancient Nutrition Keto Cocoa. We use it for hot chocolate, but it has a bunch of good stuff in it too. That's a good one. And you've probably seen all over Instagram this YourSuper.com. This girl that started this company because her boyfriend got cancer and so she dove into all the research to find out all the organic superfoods that, I love this, um, that just help people be healthy. And that's another one I like to throw in. So I am going to, so you don't have to sit here and watch all this, Basically, you follow the directions. I add, like I said, the stuff, the chocolate, but my daughter likes blueberry. So I will also make a batch of blueberry and I add a flaxseed milk. You can add almond milk, whatever kind of nut milk that you like. And um, I make the whole batch all at once, but I'll tell you more about that coming up. I'm gonna go listen to some Forest Sun. Okay, so I have all my liquids. I always get so anxious when I'm making pancakes because I always put the dry in first and then I read the directions. What else am I supposed to put? But I always do the liquids first. So it calls for canola oil and I'm not a big fan of canola oil. It's not good for you to do the research, but I got organic, non-GMO, whatever. Because I didn't want to put like avocado oil in or Coconut is pretty flavorful. I just want a kind of oil that tastes the least like something else, like avocado or coconut. Does that make sense? Anyway, so stir this up and it gives you a good indication what kind of shape you're in because typically when I'm whisking, my arm gets tired. That's how out of shape I am. So, and did you ever try doing opposite hand? Anyway, so this will work out my right arm today. Okay, so once you've got all your liquids mixed up, ready to go, then add the pancake mix. Don't you miss the good old days? And I'm gonna make lots of references to the good old days where you just open a damn package. You just open it. Now you gotta get the scissors out. They're impossible to open without the help of some scissors. This guy. Okay, and then, like I said, I just add a little bit of all my little chocolate powders. 
whatever kind of protein powders you have to put in, just add it because it's good. And I should note that because I do add some of these protein powders, I add a little more of the milk, a little more of the oil, um, just so it's nice and consistent. Oh, this is a brand new. Gotta dig for the scoop, it's way down there. All right. So I typically make a mess when I stir the powders in. So I have to go really slow so the powders don't end up all over my clothes and all over the floor, which is very common, but whatever. I always say messy cooks make the best cooks. And I taught that to my kids, unfortunately, because they're messy. Yeah, I'm trying to get Alan to cook, especially since we're on break. I'll give you one guess what he's doing right now. Yep, Xbox. Anyway, I do make him come down. He's my flipper and my licker, because he likes to lick the batter. Who doesn't? All right, so the consistency looks pretty good. You don't want to overstir it. I had to get the Enjoy Life Mega Chunks because with coronavirus and everybody hoarding all the supplies in the store, this is all that was left. So it's gonna be really interesting to see the consistency of the pancakes or how they turn out with Mega Chunks instead of the really tiny little ones. And I really like this brand, Enjoy Life, because it's allergy free. So many kids nowadays have so many allergies. Oh, hell with it. Put it all in. And um, yeah, so I really like that brand a lot. Enjoy life. All right. <coughs> I'm gonna get my flipper down here. Start making some pancakes. I love pancakes. That's fine. Yeah, just push it out of the way. You know of all the kitchens, this is an imperfect kitchen. Watch out for the butter splat. Yeah! Notice the chocolate chips are different? Yeah. Do you like the bigger ones better? Yeah. Cool. All right, get your plate, it's pancake time. So basically, did you just burp? Maybe. So basically what I do, because I've got like everything out, I just make the whole batch all at once. Yeah. Like I said, I make his chocolate because he loves them. Substitute chocolate milk, add some chocolate powder. <laughs> um, but she's also got ideas in here. Toss in a few chopped pecans, any kind of nuts. You like nuts? Not really. Okay. Um, nuts and pancakes? No. Any kind of berries. Another one I said that I do is the blueberry with flaxseed milk. Just change it up, whatever you like. Stir in some lemon zest in a spoonful of poppy seeds. I don't like poppy seeds, you get stuck in my teeth and whatever. Um, okay, we better get these off I before they burn. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Yeah, so, and then I keep out just enough that we need for the week for him and I freeze the rest. So he can also, I'm gonna turn this off so it doesn't burn the pan. He can also go in and make his own pancakes. He microwaves them to heat them up, but whatever. So you've got a massive bag full of pancakes that last a week or two, depending on how many kids you have in the house. I don't know how to do the what? Floss. Oh. What do you mean? I know how to do it. <laughs> it's not how you do it. <laughs> you can't do one of right. these if you don't even know the floss. Wait, move your hips first, right? And then... I'm gonna change my tune. Okay, <laughs> pancake time! Woo! I almost finished mine. Okay, time for another. You can turn it off. What the hell is in there? I don't know. What the? Oh, it's an eggshell! 